You know, I walked in the wrong bathroom once. Okay. I've done it more than once. But it wasn't because I was confused as to what my gender. I might have been confused a little bit of where I was, but not who I am. <laughs> and the, the, the most embarrassing time I did it was at Abilene at the Texas High School Rodeo Finals. And uh, I, I had my dog with me, and I needed to go to the bathroom, and he needed to get a drink out of the toilet. And um, I know that's just crude to some of y'all, but, you know, dogs do do that. Anyway, I'm, I'm just looking down, and I push the door open and walk in, and I'm looking down, and thank God, and I bump into the most solid woman I've ever bumped into in my life, and I look, at it's the biggest dadgum pair of boots, and then, you know, my brain is slowly starting to catch up as to that I heart, I might be in the wrong place, and so I didn't dare look around, and I just looked straight up at this big old handsome cowboy looking down at me, grinning, and I, you know, have you ever noticed that when you really pull something really stupid, like asinine, that you always uh, add fuel to the fire by opening your mouth, and it just gets dumber from there, and I look looked up at him and I said, is this the man's bathroom? And he just smiled and, and laughed and said, I believe it is. And I screamed and slapped the dude on the shoulder. And he said, what are you slapping me for? You're in my bathroom. I ain't in yours. And I ran out of there screaming and, hey, settle down, Camo. It's the dog and the horses. But anyway, I run out, and everybody's laughing and carrying on. You know, hey, it's Texas. So they didn't protect me from going in there. They just collared at their friends and said, watch this, you know. Well, that was all fun and games. But what is happening in our country right now? This ain't fun and games. And this ain't accidental, y'all. And we can say those politicians are stupid to get this to pass, but it's not stupidity that's done this. This is pure evil. This is evil. This is for the purpose of, of um, taking advantage of the innocence of defenseless people. This is for the purpose of demoralizing women and children. This is for the purpose of exalting pedophiles and causing our, the, the fabric of our society to further uh, disintegrate. Because y'all, this isn't about trans transgender rights, because there ain't no such thing as transgender mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. But this isn't about people's rights. This is about control. Because if they can get society to where there is uh, chaos, then they can take over and have control. So there is one positive edge to this, slightly, and that is that um, we have too long expected the government to do what was our responsibility to do. We've expected the police to do what was our responsibility to do. I was driving to out of out of the hill country last year and was amazed at the cars that were passing by two fires up ahead on the side of the highway where some Dilbert person probably flicked their uh, cigarette out their window. <sighs> You got an ashtray, y'all. Stop it. And uh, two fires started up. And, you know, was people stopping to, to get it out while it was able to get out? No. No. You know what they were doing? They were calling 911. So I pulled my rig over, and I get out there, and I'm stomping on the one that's the biggest. And by the time I got that one out, the other one was growing. And thank God some other people stopped and saw me and helped me. But we have too long wanted the government to take care of us, wanted police to take care of us. And this is the positive note to this. We have got to start being the protectors of those that are around us and not wait for someone else to do it. Men, you need to rise up and be protectors because the, this world is trying to turn you into a bunch of predators. And some of you are, but there's a whole lot of you that are good and you're willing to lay your life down to protect someone who is weaker and innocent. And us girls too, we need to start paying attention and step in and not be afraid of what someone else might think and start protecting and stepping up instead of just getting on your phone to call 911 or worse, video it. Y'all, wake up. You know what? Um, let me just say this. Government cannot uh, legislate morality. 
They can't legislate immorality neither. Uh, if we're going to be a society of honorable people, it doesn't matter how much the government opens the floodgates to pedophiles and all of that stuff. If you're going to be honorable, you'll be honorable anyway. So begin, begin to step up and protect those who cannot protect themselves. This is Crystal Lyons, Galgo Logic. Until next time.